Okay, so let's move to question 1.3, which is n to the power 200 less than 5 to the power 300. And this question, it's allocated 3 marks. So on your next step, you solve for n. So because you need to get rid of the power, you can divide by exactly the same number as it is. So you've got n to the power 200. That's why you divide by 200. So you do the same on the other side of the less than sign. So it becomes 5 to the power 300 divided by 200. So by so doing, you've got your n is less than 11.18. So remember, the question is requesting you to write the integer, which is a whole number. So you ignore the decimal and write the number, which is 11. So 11 is a whole number. Remember, a whole number is a number which is not a fraction. So a whole number, it could be 2, 10, 20, 50, as long as it's a number without a decimal. So that's why in this case, you had to ignore that decimal. So there are more options in which you can solve for this question. The other option, which is in this case option B, you can write this in a different form. So n to the power 200 is still the same as n to the power 2 times 100. And you do the same in this case. You've got 5 to the power 3 close to the power 100. So 3 times 100, it still equals to 300. Then you've got your 5 to the power 3, which is 1, 2, 5, and nothing else changes. So it's just, it's just a matter of simplifying 5 to the power 3. And from there, you've got your 1, 2, 5 to the power 100. So because the exponents are the same, they fall away. So you've got your n to the power 2 less than 1, 2, 5. And the square root of 1, 2, 5, it's equals to 11.18. Remember, you ignore the decimal and you just write the number. So 11 is the whole number. Otherwise, you can still do it this way, where you've got your n to the power 2 times 100 is the same as this you've got your 5 to the power 3 times 100 is the same as this and then you introduce a square root where you remove the n squared so you do the same on this side you've got your 5 to the power 3 you also introduce a square root then you remain with your n which is less than you punch all of this you get 11.18 so n it's equals to 11 so this is option c and notice where you score a mark you score a mark there for simplification you score a mark there for punching in that value and you also get a mark for final answer same here you get a mark there and you also get a mark for punching in all of this and you also score the last mark from indicating that n is equals to 11. So that means um, 11 is the highest whole number where n to the power 200 is less than 5 to the power 300. So that means if you use any number which is greater than 11, not just a number, but any whole number, which is greater than 11, this, it becomes 